Hi, you're embroidering with Cody. And in this video, this is our part two video of group and ungroup, which is one of the upgraded features of the Bernina 880 Plus and 790, which is also included in the 590 and the 700. So here we, so the first video we did a three letter monogram that we ungrouped and adjusted the size of each letter in a matter of seconds. So in this video, we're gonna take a design and we're gonna completely change it. So we're gonna select this design. This design's pretty complex, it's got a lot going on. But let's just say we wanna take out the center portion of the design and put our initial. So right now we've got eight different colors, so eight different color changes, and they're scattered throughout the entire design. This one really dives in deeper into the group and ungroup. So let's go straight ahead and do that. So we'll go to our eye, and let's we'll scroll down to where you find your group and ungroup. So you're gonna select it. And then when you first hit, when you have a design that has multiple colors like this, when you first hit ungroup, the first thing it does is it breaks up the design by color. So you can see here we've got our tiles and we've got multiple tiles and they all represent a specific color. So let's start, let's work our way up. So we'll start with our first color. So we can look and see here, so this first color, it's only found in the center. So this is perfect. So we can take that, we can see it here, and we can just drag it over and we'll delete just that color because we want all that gone. So our second color, we can see we've got some purple here, a little zigzag here, some purple here, and the purple in the center. So we just want to remove the purple in the center. So in this case, we're going to need to ungroup this color. So we're going to cut, we have that color selected, and then let's ungroup it. So here you can see it broke that color up into multiple different little, little pieces. So that zigzag is the first one, so let's delete that. And then the second one, we want to keep that there. So, but the next one, that purple, we want gone. So let's delete that. So that and that we want to keep. So then let's go up to the next color. So this peach, this one's kind of hard to see, but some here, 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 oops, here and here. We want to get rid of that one. So let's ungroup that color. So come to our group and ungroup, ungroup. So now we can look and see. So we've got this section this section, it's like this one is in the center, so we can go and delete that. And this one, which is over there, this one's in the center, so we can go and delete that. And you can see like when we go to different parts of the design, the cursor is gonna move, so it's gonna show you exactly where that design is. So that one's in the center too, so we can go and delete that. So let's keep going up and keep looking. I can still see a little gray, a little something there, but it's just not that color. So that color's only found on the outside. Let's go to the next color. That color's only found on the outside as well. This one's only found on the outside, but this color is a little bit found in the center. So let's go ungroup that one as well. Come here, ungroup. So you can see this design, it's right there. So let's, we can always double check. There it is. Yeah, so let's go and delete that. So looking at it, we got rid of everything in the center, which is exactly what we want to do. Now, so this is the design that we want. Actually, I want to delete that little zigzag here. So let's see, he's found in that color. So it's our very last color. So let's go and ungroup that. So our zigzag, and then we can just take them out of there. There we go. So this whole center is clear, perfect. Now before we do anything else, we've got all we've got 14 different tiles. We've got 14 separate designs at this point. We want to make sure we group it all together. Cause if not, if we accidentally start touching the screen or start moving things, we're going to move all these things individually. We don't want any of that to happen. So let's go all the way down to our bottom tile, which is our select all. There it is. So now let's group all of that. So we go group and ungroup and let's group it. So now it's all back to that's our new design. We basically created a whole new design, which is excellent. So now let's go and add our initial in here. So we'll go to add design, we'll go to our fonts, and we'll choose, choose something pretty. Let's choose one of the scripts. We'll choose the A. So there's our initial. So we can come and we can make the design bigger. 
and it fits beautifully right in the center. And if you want, you can always go and adjust it however you want. But you can see here, we created a whole new design, essentially, um, right in the machine. Super easy, no software was required to do that because it's all one of those, all the features that came with the um, upgrade package for the 880 and the 790, but it's also on the 590 and the 700. But, and there's something else that's included that's not gonna require a whole new video, um, and that's this right here or undo and redo button. So if you did something you didn't like or you didn't want that, you didn't actually want to do it, you've, always, you've got your undo button now, which is awesome. So this is found on a lot of the machines. So if you did something, you just undo. Say if I didn't want that A anymore, like, ah, oh, that's the wrong letter. You just kind of undo until it's gone. But you're like, oh, but I did want it. Then you redo it, and there it is. All right, well, that is the group and ungroup feature of the Bernina 880 and 790 Plus. All right, happy sewing and embroidering.